Hi guys, uh, welcome to our new video. Uh, in this video, we'll look at how we can use Tailwind and Bootstrap side by side. Actually, sometimes when you want to use a full fledged CSS framework uh, like Bootstrap and you also want the utility uh, advantages of Tailwind, so uh, you need to use these both both of these frameworks together uh, utility framework and the CSS framework together so but uh, to make things easier so I made this video so that you know like how you can use it together so sometimes it can be hard actually if you don't know these steps so yeah let's go ahead and first install Tailwind here and the reason that I'm saying like that uh, you need a specific uh, learning about this is like um, sometimes these uh, both have some similar class names uh, which actually can collide with each other which is not good so which will actually produce some unwanted effects like um, which you are not expecting unexpected result so yeah uh, so let's go ahead and first install the tailwind in our project so this is our first project let's go ahead and actually remove this page first and then we can actually start with uh, installing these frameworks so first let's remove this guy here and actually uh, let's make h1 here and we'll uh, make it Tailwind here, and we'll make it Bootstrap here. Okay. And now let's go ahead and let's install this Tailwind. Uh, let's uh, close these guys. And to install the Tailwind, actually you can go to Tailwind uh, main website. You can go to documentation and you can go to installation. And for Laravel, you can actually follow this guy here. Uh, so let's install this guy. Okay, once this is installed, we need to actually uh, add tailwind.config.js here. So let's copy this content and add tailwind.config.js in our root project. So once this is installed and we need to actually add this in our post CSS, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so now our Tailwind CSS is installed, let's go ahead and add this directory in our uh, resources CSS directory. Okay. Uh, so now the Tailwind configuration is complete. Uh, let's go ahead and run and to see like if everything is working fine. Uh, meanwhile, we need to include our CSS and JS here in our welcome file. So let's do that as well. Let's add the JS here as well. Okay, and uh, we need to check. Oh, okay, CSS is compiled. So let's go ahead and refresh this application. Okay, let's go and check the source here and see like if we get, oh, okay, so let's go ahead and remove these guys, we don't need this, uh, why they are here. Okay, and refresh it. Okay, so in the CSS, we actually get the tailwind CSS here. So now let's go ahead and install bootstrap here as well. So to install the bootstrap, we go to official bootstrap documentation and we'll actually install the bootstrap in the node module. We'll just need to do npm boot install bootstrap. Okay, so once the bootstrap is installed, we need to import the bootstrap in our JS file. To actually keep things easier, we'll just uh, get the compiled version of Bootstrap in our CSS. Okay, and I think I need to add this one here. Add input. 
and uh, yeah I think this is pretty much it okay so let's click on it and see like okay if it reaches here okay let's move it and run npm dog again okay it seems like everything is compiled so now uh, if you check here in the view let's, let's refresh it and check this file here okay now you see like bootstrap is included first and then uh, then the tailwind i hope so this file is pretty big it will take some time to load so yeah uh, let's not wait for it and let's try to use the classes here so if you go in the welcome and we can actually and here we can actually fire from here actually let's reverse this this is uh, a tailwind directory and this is a bootstrap so okay let's go ahead and refresh this guy so yeah we get the tailwind hello and we get the bootstrap hello as well so if you go here and you will see like okay well, this is from this actually you can see like this is a tailwind directory and this is actually a bootstrap where your text primary is coming from the bootstrap so to identify like uh, both of the framework uh, to differentiate both of the frameworks we can actually go to tailwind and we can actually prefix our tailwind css to maybe tw and let's go ahead and run this one more time okay cool so everything is compiled let's go ahead and refresh our page so yeah, tailwind should work because now uh, it should work with actually the prefix tw. So let's go ahead and add the tw prefix. Okay, cool. So now you can see like uh, you can actually start your classes. You can use uh, if you want to use the grid system from uh, Bootstrap, you can use it. And if you want to use the utilities from Tailwind, you can actually use them pretty easily um, with uh, just adding a prefix here. So yeah, that's it for this video. Let me know if you have any question or comment. Uh, see you. Bye bye. Cheers.